This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Get back here to Die Sport Network. Dunbar against Winfred Mill here in prime time. Last time, I'm at AJ on the camera work. And that's a travel. Dunbar gets it back. Now, birthday girl with me, Christina Barnes. Happy birthday, first of all. Thank you very much. All right, welcome her uh, Millers. Record of 5 and 9, they suffered a loss in Newtown. As that one goes there to start off for Dumbo. Levante <laughs> Hurd holding it down, joining now your, your Oxen Hill gang, man. Did they get it done against Edmondson? Ah, uh, they did not. Um, the game was uh, pretty much up and down, most of it, and um, they had a chance to win at the end, but a failed possession at the end, offensively, just didn't work out for them. And they went into overtime, and they, uh, I believe they were gassed. Deshaun Jones with a bucket there for Dumbo. Points. 14-0. That doesn't happen often, does it? No, it did not, but uh, tonight Muffin Mills offense so far has not been able to get it done here in this one. You know what? Another shot. Jason Jones. Jones with another bucket. 7 nothing game here. I think they're still cold. That's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that they're, they're still cold. They only had two minutes to warm up. Yeah, but behind is an understatement here at the basketball academy. It's all good. Did he step on the animals? That doesn't happen off the either. <laughs> We've seen a lot of. Not first, but we've seen a lot of weird things so far. A lot of goofiness. That's what I like to call it. Oh my gosh, can't get anything going. Points there for the Millers. Side. Ooh, on. and one. You, you heard that foul from the nosebleeds. Oh boy. Coach Jeremy there. On the mic. Foul number 55. That is Lewis. His first. Kate's first. Put them on the shooting number 30. Malik McCormick. Ice cold, ice cold. Jermaine Goodwin. Jermaine Goodwin. Oh, press, 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 press. Turned it over. Miller's trying to get back in it. Oh, he traveled. He definitely traveled. Slid the feet. Jones. I go to 
McCormick to sport athletes. Ooh. Uh, that should be a dunk. D jam time. <laughs> jam time. Oh, good Scott pass. Over. Good pass. Good pass. Jalen Scott throws it down with a two. Yeah. 12-6 up there. <laughs> Dunbar is really oh. aggressive. And with the aggression, they are awarded the ball. I guess the hits are coming out. You got Sammy Davis Jr. now. Sammy Johnson back on the camera work. An awesome day of basketball. Ooh. Good pass, good pass. Might get it out of bounds. It's gonna go to Memphis Mill. Oh no. Miss there from Memphis Mill. Back comes the dumb ball. Oh, for three. Cormick. That one missed. Back over come the Miller. They cut it into this lead. Coast to coast in the layup is good. Not bad at all. Got to find a way to get themselves back into this game. Dunbar losing to Delaney in the game previously here in the academy. Pull up something. Ah. It's his own rebound. Tried to get it and a foul is called. The point Cavante, he did get his own rebound. Indeed. Deshaun Jones, Deshaun Jones is putting in work early. Ice cold. On the floor, the number zero, Jamal And two. Thirteen foul against Dunbar. Dunbar, the defending 1A champions against Memphis Mill, the 3A runner-up to Poly last year. I, I was actually at I was actually at all of those games. <laughs> she was, yes, she was. Scouting it out for us. Yes, sir. You seen Dunbar? Be fair, my heights a year ago. This is a different Dunbar team. Transfers is left. Yep. Not the same team you've seen uh, almost a year ago now. No, definitely, definitely not. I see a lot of new faces on the team. Number fifteen, Sammy Davis, But they did. They ran through the tournament <laughs> for states. It's gonna be a little different this year with Lake Clifton moving down to one A. It's not gonna be as easy for Dunbar, I would say, as it was a year ago. Lake Clifton is probably the favorite right now in one A. At least up in this area to get to Comcast. I agree. I agree. So no, uh, no, no cakewalks around here, huh? Right. I got some. Oh, uh, give me. There you go. Nice little close screen action.
Take a pause for the cause. 227 left here in the first. Once again, another 10 second violation. What is up with that? That's a 30 second the game action. <laughs> Seen it off camera, got me rolling here about a joke. But uh, Gavante, 16 8 lead for Dunbar. Whoa! Woo, from deep? <laughs> Too deep. <laughs> Too deep. Not where you want that one to go. Doesn't look like it's not quite his range. No, no, I wouldn't try that again. Oh, no! Mephamel saving it. Almost turned it over. Saving it from themselves. Miller's coast to coast. Oh, oh should have had that out. back in there. Second chance. And that's bully ball yeah. right there. Ooh. Then it's Darius Woods putting the wood in. Ah. And 16 to 10. Ah. <laughs> Hits the three. Jamal <laughs> Kennedy. Kennedy with the three. Foul against the ports. Foul number, number three, the lead the Foreman. That's his so second. just joined us. I know you only seen finish. the first half of the Mervo contest. But the Mustangs took care of business, 70 to 44. Wasn't even close. Yeah. Big Mustangs yeah. with still, Will Thomas still down, but they have been able to withstand some of the storm of that. Woods. Three. Hits Ooh, it. Needed that in the worst way. Jermaine Goodwin Jermaine. again. Goodwin. And the lead cut back to six. Need a stop. They need a stop. Nice ball movement by Dunbar. That's a three, Ooh. and he rainbowed it. Nothing. Fast break time. Nobody was home. Ooh. Blocked. Good defense. Got the rebound back as Jones. Good defense. Oh. And he walked. Seconds left here in the quarter. Miles Dacavante hurt with you. Yes, sir. I'm hanging around. Milford Mill looks kind of confused. Let's see what the Millers do here on this possession. Okay. Goodwin trying to make something happen. Oh, missed it high. And a foul. That's the 14th foul against Milford Mill. Seconds left. Oh, 
Okay. Driving. Oh. Oh, throw it away. Throw it away, and that's the quarter. So after and one, Dunbar up by six. And we're back with the second quarter here shortly here on DSN. Quarter about to get going here on the Dodge Brother Network. A 19 13 game. Dunbar's not on the field. <laughs> the court, that oh is. Oh boy, oh boy. Here in the historic Hillfield House here at the campus of uh, Morgan State. Wow, it looks a lot different since the last time I was here. Yeah, they got the, they got the nice board over there. Looking real good. Got some Hall of Famers up on the wall. Oh, yes. Of up the ante here at uh, Morgan State. 7.40 here left in the half. And that's a foul. Ooh, offense. Offense, that's your turnover. Miller's trying to get an offense every time they do. It seems like something stop them from they're doing just, that. Then they're still out of sync, much out of sync. Swings it back over. Shot clock at one. Ooh, two hezzies. He double, double I think dribbled. they went paying attention to the clock, Avante, and it, and it cost him. And he double dribbled. <laughs> so double dribble and a shot clock violation. Double dribble and a shot clock violation. Is that two for one? And another turnover. Turnover's coming so quickly, I don't know where they're coming from. That's his first team's fifth. That's the three. Front end miss. Offensive rebound. Foul number Bell, number 32, Jason Hogan. That's his second. Pull up. Not there. Back comes the Millers. Trying to cut into this lead and do. All right, all right. Struggling offensively. Get it done on the defensive side of the ball. Still to come here. Delaney, Lake Clifton. And then the Charm City, Windy City Challenge matchups to come here on the Dice Money Network. Free throws up here for the Millers here at the line. At the line, shooting number 32, Jason Kruger, shooting one plus one. Ooh. 
And that's a jump ball. Yep. Ball. Fakes it, Jones. He traveled. Oh, no. On, on the baseline. Foot on the baseline. Yep. He was touching out of bounds. Out of bounds. Back over. That's a three. Missed it. Oh, got the rebound. It's Woods. And put it oh. in. In there. <laughs> <laughs> that's two today. Okay, that's two. Ball should stay with Memphis Mill. Milford Miller, that's what's up. Milford Miller stepped it up defensively. They have turned it up. They've held Dunbar to no points here in the second quarter. Always, oh, if your offense is struggling, start on the defensive side of the ball. Pull up and Ooh. one. And, and one jumper. McCormick. See, a lot of seniors on this Dunbar team. Wow, there are a lot of seniors. That's half the team. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Cypress Jones and Coach Ryan Smith, respectfully, trying to get their programs going for postseason time. Maryland's version of high school madness takes stage. Oh, what a dish to Wood. Blocked. Ah, good defense. Come on, the big fella got blocked there. Timeout. Timeout. By the ports. Devontae, tell them about Goofy Central. Oh, man. You didn't just bring up Goofy Central. Um, well, first half of the season is done. Second half we, has been shot. So, in the next, in the next, over the next four weeks, you'll be seeing um, episodes five through eight. Right, and I think right. it will really be a treat. We have some new guests coming. Um, of course, obviously, me and Byron will be there. But we have a couple of special guests this upcoming uh, second half. Should be fun. Down with that. Sound like a winner. Goofy Central. Check it out on the Facebook page of the Flex Zone as well as the YouTube page of the Flex Zone as well. Getting your sports how you want it, when you need it. And of course, Goofy Central. There's a thin line between Goofy and Great. Don't end up on the wrong end of it. Oh, oh, oh. 22-17 game for McCormick for three. Tipped and miss. Woods gets the rebound from Memphis Mill. Memphis right. Mill's right there. He's got to get the ball in the basket. Starts on the defensive side. That's a three. That one misses. Offensive rebound. Ooh. And shooting two. Both teams in a one and one. Ah, uh, seemed like those seven fouls just happened really fast. Very fast. I didn't even notice it my top, so I just looked up. First shot in there. You know, a lot of the early games were won and lost at the free throw line. No question. See, so had Naff upsetting Woodlawn today. How about that one? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, and Naff had seven people playing. Wow. And Woodlawn had a whole squad. Wow. And Weston coming back on, on Mount Kelma. And girls action. 
So all them gains are here on the Dice Wing Network. You can check them out. Oh, oh. got it in. It's a one-point right. game. All right, Miller yeah. Mills back in it. There you go, Millers. Get it back in. Back in this one, they are. The nightcap here of the 23rd edition of the Baltimore Basketball Academy. Academics and athletics, a one-win combination here in the Academy, and that Deshaun jumper goes. Jones. It's been the Deshaun Jones show for Dunbar in the first half. That's right, and they continue to go to him. That's the only source of offense. Oh, Hick still. City. And a foul. And who's that? That's Jones again. He's coming up to the line to shoot. There it goes. The one and one. As that's the 18 foul on the Millers. In and out on the one and one. Now the Millers are moving. The Millers can tie with a three. And, and they're going to go for the tie. Woo! And hit. There it goes. Dante Dunlap. Dante Dunlap, the senior. Giving the Millers the tie at 24 as McCormick swings it back over. Pull up for Jones again. That one tipped and missed. Uh. Woods. Trying to get the rebound. It's on the deck. Dunbar got it. Foul on the floor. Foul on the floor. Foul on the Free throw did not go in. Miller's trying to take the lead for the uh -oh. first time. It Woo! does. Game time. We have a game, folks. We have a game. How about, How about a two-point lead for Memphis Mill? They fought off the storm of Dunbar early. Inside. Oh, no. That is a foul. 217 left and a half. Foul number number 32, Jason Fulton. That's his third. Tenth team foul? That is. They racking them up, aren't they? <laughs> A brick miss on the first free throw. Two oh, no. Breaks. Almost gave it back to him. I was going to say, it's <laughs> for some. Oh, he did give it back to him, Garante. Wow. Wow. That's effort right there. The I don't know. I don't know what sequence of events that was, but uh, that should never happen. It's four of y'all versus him. There's uh, no way he should have touched the ball. <laughs> no way. Yeah. It's been a long day here at the Academy. The rest of First shot in there. Got to give them up for middle credit. They was down. They're up by three. And they did it with defense. Yes. We are thankful the weather did not do as bad as a lot of people thought it would. Yep. Front end mess on the side. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
That's a three. Ooh. Oh, the bank opened the, up for the, McCormick there. Is the <laughs> bank open on the weekend? What time is it? <laughs> it's after hours. They made a deposit. Stepped out. Ugh. One thirty-eight left for a good one. We're tied at twenty-seven. Things start off a little slow, but turned to be turned out to be a pretty good game. I, well, I thus think far. like you said earlier, man, they had to warm up so quickly. You know, it takes a while to get into it if you don't have the proper chance to get things going. I tell you, two minutes is not going to do it. Oh no, we barely got up here to start the game. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. In there, everywhere. That's it. Pick City. And he's two running. on two fast break for Miller. Yes, sir. Woo. Miller the lead running. back to Memphisville. Floater. That oh goes. Oh, my gosh. Back and forth. Loving it back and forth. Keep this game entertaining. Yes, indeed. We like an entertaining game. It's been an entertaining day here at the uh, Maxwell Academy. Oxenna Emerson got a rivalry going on, Confronte. I think uh, we'll be shot to be back up here together playing each other again next year. Absolutely. And um, things got a little testy in that, uh, in that game. Oh, boy. <laughs> 39 seconds left is a... Uh, back in the game for the post, number zero, Jamal Kennedy. Nine seconds in the shot clock in the game clock. Oh, oh, the oh, no good. Got the ball back, though. Shot clock is off. Dead even at 29. Make sure you look at the clock. Three, two, three ball at the buzzer. Ooh. No good. Just off the high. So at halftime, we're dead even at 29. Next to last game here in the Baltimore Basketball Hoop. Basketball Academy, excuse me. Back with the second half here on the Dodgeway Network coming up. Stay tuned. Second half play, Derek Schultz with a quick basket to start it off with Milford Mill here in the second half. Shot is up, air ball by Ooh, number five. Nothing Sorry, home, Jones. nobody home. Shot out, guys. Good win, no good. Rebound by Jones. Dunbar coming back with the other way. Such a short halftime. Only three minutes. Not much rest. Let's see if this takes a toll. Yeah, I guess they had to cut it down because it's so far behind. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Oxen Hill uh, versus the Emerson game of going into overtime didn't help either. I don't know. So before we start this last game, going on between the Lady and Lake Clifton, we might get two minutes. That's it to start the game. Whew. 
first free throw attempt is good by Demel Edwards. Studying in the area is one of the number 32, Jason Holder. Felt like he moved a little early on the free throw. <laughs> yeah, no violation called by the referees. Buck goes. Tie game again, 31 all with 630 left to play in the third quarter. Oh. All the way. Wow, shot. No good. Cleared up on the boards. Mill for Mill is finally active on the boards. Almost, the almost, almost the end one. That was a good aggressive take right there. Number 23, Kamari Barney. Cookies. Still ain't blew the layup. No familiar now coming back with it. Five on four fast break. Advantage if they want to use it. Three ball going up. Don't lap no good. Ooh, and a foul. Gameplay stops. Sean Jones calling the foul, reaching in. Both these teams could really rack it up on the foul side of the game. <laughs> and another steal this time. Coming away with it is Barney. And finishes the layup. Timeout, North and Mill. That's about as long as halftime. That was pretty. Jones is out of the way, no good. Rebound by Treshawn Banton. Ooh, offensive foul. Wow. Banton gets called for the offensive foul right there. Offensive foul.
Jumping ball, trying to go inside, turn it over. Foul is called number 20, Jawan Gibson. <laughs> like I said before, these guys really know how to rack up the fouls. <laughs> Is that a continuation? Referees gave it to him. And one. The substitution for Dunbar as Kamari Barney checks out of the game. Goodwin completes the three-point play. <laughs> oh, good block. Oh, back though, man. And one. Rocking them on these fouls, man. <laughs> Fouls are definitely adding up. Four to three foul count now. I'm just still in the third corner. Attempt no good, rebounded by number 14, Jalen Scott with the putback. And Dunbar is now back in front with the one point lead, 39-38 with 2.50 left to play here in the third quarter. Dunbar is really putting on the press. And we have the officials time out. Number 15, Sam Davis. Play a loss and shoot, so the referees stop the game for him. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but hey, help him out. <laughs> it's a lot of goofiness going on in this game, man. Number To the action here after the time out by Milford Mill. Bill with it. Puts up the three, no good. Got another whistle and it appears we have another foul call. Is that another? 
Is that another, another foul? Oh, foul call on Dunbar. Is that another foul? <laughs> I'm starting to understand what these games have been behind so far. Foul call number zero. Uh, he's not in the book, so we're going to refer to him as like Mike right now. Mr. Cambridge has the ball. <laughs> Malik McCormick bringing the cross with that ball. Over to Mr. Cambridge. <laughs> McCormick for three. Oh. Here goes Dunbar with the press. Dunbar again with the press. Forcing the action on Milford Mill. Trying to another 10 second count. They oh no. Did it. Almost turned over. Good Derek. basket right there by Derek oh. Schultz. Nice job being patient. Taking what's open. Ooh, good pass. Inside with the layup, Sammy Davis Jr. Oh no, don't never pass it back in the press. <laughs> there it is. They got the 10 second count. Work to perfection. That is the third or fourth 10 second count with Milford Mill in this game. That defense press has been a problem for them. Can't camp out down there. And the senior Jalen Scott should know better than to just camp out in the lane like that. Oh no. Again, another turnover off the press. Muffle Mill has got to do a better job protecting the basketball. Coleman splits the D to the rack. Misses the layup. Ah. But Dunbar comes back with it again. More hustle and more fight in this Dunbar team right now. Three ball on the way. No good. That's the end of the third. That is the end of the third quarter. Dunbar ahead of Milford Mill, 44-42.
right, ready to get this fourth quarter underway here with Dunbar inbounding the ball up two. All right, last quarter. Let's get it on. Close game throughout. McCormick with the hop step in the lane and the basket. Dunbar is really nice ball moving. And another and turnover off the press. McCormick all the way with the layup. Dunbar has obviously turned the pressure up. No for Bill seems to be unable to figure the press out. And that's a almost, almost another turnover. Oh, good defense. Good block right there by Jalen Scott. And one. Darius Woods. Strong take right there by Darius Woods. The line trying to complete the and one. Three point play. Uh, number four, and he does. Couldn't lead back down to three. Huh? Good pass by McCormick inside. Oh, the free throw line, the free throw line. Clock stops yet again. First attempt from Scott, no good. Yeah. <laughs> Scott misses them both. Ahead. Turnover again by Milford Mill. <laughs> no way he thought about it. <laughs> Just wanted to act like he was going to do something right there. Oh, McCormick with the strong take. No good. Out of bounds, Milford Mill basketball. Milford Mill basketball. Number all sets the press again. Oh. And Milford Mill actually got it across. I'm surprised. Good pass inside and the finish by Darius Woods. Three points hit way off right there by number 12, bad David shot, Miller. Bad shot. No for Mill on the way, on the break. No good, no call. Out of bounds, Dunbar basketball. Hey man, purchase your souvenir journal in honor of the 23rd anniversary 
Germans only one dollar available in the lobby for one dollar. Corner, three ball going up and good. Uh oh, things are starting to heat up. The shot was good by number four, Deron. <laughs> no familiar, no good, but just remember their own rebound. We got a defensive foul called here. Was that another foul? Yes, it is. One more, and he'll be done. He'll be fouled out of this game. Go for real. Is at the line? This is going to be a one and one. First attempt. Good. Three point ball game now with 4.52 left to play in regulation. Dunbar's go-to man is number five, Deshaun Jones. And he has the ball. The hesitation to the rim, force of the wild shot. Rebound, Will for Mill. Up ahead. Oh, oh, oh no. could not come away with the turnover again, Mill for Mill. With all these turnovers, it's kind of a surprise that Mill for Mill is still in this game, only down by two points. <laughs> I'm hearing this great play by play up here by Sean Brunson. I almost didn't want to interrupt him. But uh, it's a two point game here for Dunbar. D, when did you get back? <laughs> well, thank you, Grante. I appreciate it. <laughs> Take care of some logistics. Woo, and he fouled on a three pointer. Oh, never, never foul a jump and shooter. And coming up the line, shoot two. Delaney and Lake Clifton to come. We're on the dice for them. We're on our activities here at the Basketball Academy. The back and forth game between Dunbar and Memphis Mill. Yeah, so it was a three-pointer, huh? <laughs> I thought his foot was on the line, too. Right. Uh, Woods inside. Missed it high. Back over. Offensive rebound inside. Layup is good. Ooh. Needed that. Game. Needed that bucket. It is now a one possession game. That it is. Another classic here at Academy Zone. Alexander Johnson and Campbell Rook. Fonte Hurd of the Flex Zone. Sean Brunson of Brunson League. Moss out here with you. As the ball back over to the Millers now. They're trying Millers to drive with a three. Ooh. And coming up to shoot two. Easy call there for the defensive foul on Mr. Malik McCormick. You gotta set your feet if you want to take the charge. You can take the charge and get off the way. No question. Two shot foul. In and Ooh. out. This is how games are won and lost. It's been the story of the day, Kevontae. Uh, at the line. Absolutely, absolutely. I've seen a lot of missed free throws in the second half of games. 
that could completely put teams out of it. Second shot's in there. Swings it back over. So three, that one's no good. Back comes the Millers. And All the way. Oh, no. Can't miss the gimme layup. Can't miss the gimme layup. Sometimes we've seen that. Fourteen foul. Coming up to shoot. At the line, Jimmy Cutlock, number 14, James Scott. First shot. Oh, man, another miss at the line. Woods with the defensive rebound for the Millers. Time out. Bye, Memphis Mill. Uh, no. That Dunbar press is tough, man. Yes, it is. the time out 54 52 game here for Dunbar uh oh uh oh shakedown that should have been two to layup did not uh, he go. is man I think he's a little more worried about how pretty he looks <laughs> versus actually making the bucket I think the lay was on the basket there Another time out. Uh, yeah. by the poets. That's a full time out for them. Available for one dollar. 
54-52, 205 left in this one. Another back and forth one. It's been a great day of hoops action in the area. Fakes it. Inside. Oh, tough Layup bucket, is good. Tough bucket. Tough bucket. Hunt with the two and a four point lead. Senai hasn't made a big lead in the second half of either team. Not at all. Inside. Layup is good. It's another tough bucket. 90 seconds left. 56 54, Dunbar. Three. Hits it long distance two. Good <laughs> shots by the poets trying to close this one out. Here we go. 116 left. Who's going to take it? Who's going to get that extra momentum push for the rest of the season here between Memphis Mill and Dunbar? And a foul. 18 foul. Excuse me, 19 foul against uh, Dunbar. Jones is now fouled out of the game. And that is huge, Cavante, for Dumbo. Mm, mm, mm. Is that another foul? I've been saying it all game. All game. Oh my gosh. So he's the commission. The commissioner of the Bronson League there. He finds some though. nicknames for him, man, I tell you. <laughs> I know how you feel about that, man, when they're not in the book. <laughs> what happens, right? Got to give him some name. Oh, ah. man. Games are won or lost. Now's at the charity strike. Swings it over. Cuts. Oh. Dish. Turnover. Come in for middle tie. Oh, oh wow. man. That was intense. I didn't know what was going to happen. What well, was that? The uh, finger poke of doom right there. <laughs> it did enough to stop him. Good job. Well accomplished. <laughs> Thirty-one seconds left. Shoot. Two. Two shot foul. In there. Front end miss. Oh, he got his own rebound. rebound. Oh, no. Two point game. That might have been the best thing to do, though. 
Nine tenths Ooh. of a second difference Ooh. between the shot clock and the game clock. Things got intense right there. <laughs> Things got real intense right there, guys. Imagine you to hit that been like one of them field goals that a guy hits and then call a timeout. Did they, they, did they freeze the shooter? Right. Interesting to see what Gopher Bill does here now, too. They don't want to hold for the last shot in this situation. So I said, go for the two. Probably about 10 seconds left in case you miss it. Get the foul. Whatever you do. And who they're going to go to? I think they got to go to Jermaine Goodwin. I haven't heard his name a lot in the second half, but Goodwin is always clutch for a bucket when you need one. The moment of truth. Here we go. Possibly the final possession of the game. What's inside? Oh, it. no! no! Oh, no! no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Right. Oh no! That's all I can say, guys. Huge free throws here. He hits both. He could put the Mike game away. Mel in the back. He oh it. no! Oh, here no. we go again. For the win! For the win! Oh! Oh, Mr. Rebound, oh good! Got a foul! And do with four attempts. Four point seven seconds left. I in held the game. my breath. <laughs> I held my breath. He went for the win. He went he <laughs> went for the He wanted to call it. that Dunn Ball's been shooting the free throws in this game, it would not be surprised if Milford Mill has another chance with this. And remember, this is still the one and one Oh, man. So he has to make the first one. And they're still only up by two with four seconds left. Milford Mill did not uh, have any more. Oh, oh, here we go again. Oh. Four, three, two, no one. No foul call. That's it. Wow. Wow. What an ending. Another exciting finish. Dunbar survives and wins 58-56. What another one. Woo! Woo! I guys, I, I held my breath a couple times, guys. I, I don't think I should get, get in the habit of doing that. I'll tell you, still got one more now. Still got one more. There should be another good one right here between the Lady and Lake Clifton. No question about that one. I'm going to let the presentation take hold and then we're Close it out. Go in there. Brother. Yeah, and he wins. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks. Oh, she ate them already. Nah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to do it all. Oh, I'm playing it. Oh, no. All right, man. Good to see you, man. No problem. Hey, you coming out uh, next Sunday for uh, the Rumble? Possibly. I heard Omar maybe get Yeah. Picked. Yeah. If you do, then I have, you know, I have a I had a box. I had a box. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention to Senator Court. Joining us on the court to present tonight's MVP. Uh, that's the back of the First, from Milford Bill, today's MVP award winner. Number 10, Jermaine Goodwin.
and from Dundalk. Tonight's MVP, number three, Malik McCormick. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we present the Scholar Athlete Award. First, from Belford Bell, number 55, Darius Woods. And from Dunbar, the Scholar Athlete Award goes to number zero, Jamal Anthony. These two athletes will receive a $100 gift card from Under Armour. Please join us in saluting these outstanding student athletes. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?